Good morning and welcome to Winnipeg. It is HMS Rodney Day and Bismarck Shirt Day. I remember Jeff. <laughs> okay. Now. Okay, I guess uh, today I gotta pull these LEDs back out of the bulkhead here and uh, get them wired up. Uh, one of the viewers was noticing that I had <clears throat> a red and red and green LEDs. Well, what I what I had done was I had just taken these clear ones and I had I had dipped them into the Tamiya clear green and the to me a clear red and I changed the color and you can see one is one of the larger ones is glowing there those those larger ones they're uh, they're way too big to be uh, uh, to scale for for anything that's going to go in this submarine I don't know if I'll ever use those I uh, these smaller ones seem to be just about exactly right uh, for for 164 scale they would they would be they would be way too big for uh, 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 one 350 scale. Uh, but, uh, anyway, uh, I, I guess what you could do is if uh, you could use them as backlighting in behind little portholes and that sort of thing, that, yeah, they'd, they'd work for that. And it wouldn't matter what kind of light I, LED you, you were using. Um, <clears throat> okay. So that's what I'm going to do today is, uh, uh, try and, get these things uh no now when when we view this this LED, this uh module we're going you're going to be viewing it at an angle about like that so uh i guess it depends on how much you were scrunched down looking at this thing you 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 might have the LED sort of uh, gl glinting in your eye if you know what i mean so uh I'm hoping it's going to be okay. I'm not going to. I'm not going to wire them all together. Uh, uh, like I'm not going to join all the wires together because I want to be able to, to dim one of them down if I if I feel it's too bright. At least that's the plan. In fact, I know I had originally been talking about uh, having all of them adjustable, and I'm, I may go with that yet. The, those uh, 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 put. put Position it, <laughs> point geometers, or <laughs> anyway, I can I can never get that word right. Anyway, those little adjusting rheostats, uh, they're they're pretty pretty cheap. You, you know, you can buy them a package of twenty five from Amazon. You know, anyway, and they seem to work pretty good. Uh, that that might be the way to go. Uh, I don't know how I would hide all of those in the case. Uh, case might be kind of elaborate <laughs> it would have like a panel maybe that opened up and then all these uh, these uh, rheostats would be uh, available and maybe other switches who knows what <laughs> I'm not going to be uh, uh, powering the propellers so they slowly turn I think so, I think I saw a model where somebody had actually done that and that, that actually looked pretty looked pretty good the problem with that is it there's always the motor noise, and it kind of takes it away from, makes it sound like a toy. This isn't a toy, it's a model. <laughs> uh, yeah. I was watching military modeler Paul working on a, a, a 1 16th scale army tank, and I was thinking, you know, if I, if I don't get the Yamato for my stash, uh, I might, that might be my next model. Uh, you know, it's, uh, I remember uh, some some years ago, I was very impressed with a 135th scale uh, King Tiger tank that I had made, and I th and I thought, uh, well, you can and you can get those. Actually, Trumpeter makes one. Uh, I don't know if uh, I think I could probably muddle through it. See, my problem is I'm not good at weathering, and, and to make those tanks look good, you you gotta m muddy them up. Uh, the only, you know, I, mine would look like the way it was when it first came out of the factory before they got any rain on it. <laughs> uh, yeah, it, it's going to be the same with this submarine. There's not going to be too much weathering going on. 
I've seen some of these where people had taken and they'd made it look like rust running down the outside of the hull, you know, and stuff like that. And, and that that looks pretty good, I got to admit. But I don't think I'm going to try and do that. Uh, anyway, uh, let's let's recompose here. Uh, it, it looks like we're going to be able to see the sun come up. I think it's due to come up at uh, 7.52 or something this morning. Um, well, we, that means it should have come up. Okay, we, we're going to see it peeking over any minute. Any minute. Yeah, it might, might be kind of pretty. I'll put it at the end of today's episode of its... Well, okay, let's uh, recompose here. Uh, try and decide how am I going to run my wires. I think I think the best thing is is to have the wire come straight back on each one of these, and uh, and then they'll it'll join together in the in the back somewhere. Yeah, that, that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to have to come right back, and I'm, obviously I'm going to have to repaint this black. Although I I think that I I could be wrong, but. Hey, the, the fly zapper is over there in the kitchen. <laughs> uh, I, I, I could be wrong, but I, I think that possibly this, this goes over the front like this to, and it might sort of shield a, a lot of that, but then that also means you're not going to see the detail. Well, we'll see what happens when we get the module put together. I forgot where this piece goes now. I know that there there is there is uh, slots in in these uh, things for it to fit into. Uh, well, we'll worry about when, worry about it when we get to it. Yeah, let's uh, let's let's recompose here. Hello, Missy. She's trying hard not to pull. I saw that. She was a very good girl. Yeah. Very smart. You were doing a good job today. Pull it there, Uncle Ron. Yes, Frosty. It is. Frosty on the paws. Yeah, there's still still frost in the car. It was in the shade of a tree. I had trouble finding her number two until I saw the steam rising off it. <laughs> that isn't too gross for your listeners. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Yeah, you can tell when it's it's cold when the steam is rising off the poo. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> okay, here's here's a little piece of venison. It's a beautiful autumn day. Gotta go to ten and sunny and and then later on in the week, it's supposed to go to about 10 degrees above normal, up around 17, 18, 19. I saw that. <coughs> yeah, there was a big smile on my motorcycle. I was <coughs> reading about La Nina today. It's supposed to be weaker. <coughs> I think that means a warmer win winter for us, warmer and wetter, so. We might have more snow then. It's possible. Oh, here, I was going to fix that, wasn't I? There we go. Let's get rid of that rattling noise here. I cut them up really small today. <laughs> She's just beating you with her tail. I know, I know. Like, 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 like. This is one of the exciting times of the day. She looks over her shoulder and says, hurry up. And 
Yeah. I think my uh, thermometer in the backyard said minus four this morning. Sounds right. Lots of frost on the car. Surprisingly thick, too. It's not just a sweep off. You scrape, scrape to get to a single spot, you know? Mm hmm. Only our second frost, but it, this one was thicker. Clearer night, colder temperature. So, how was your ears this morning, Missy? Hey, do your ears feeling better now with that med medicine in them? Huh? I haven't seen them scratching. I think there's probably another eight or nine days to go. I'd have to look at the calendar. I mark it down pretty carefully. <coughs> <coughs> I go in, I hold on to the leash, and I sit on the couch, and she jumps on my lap. And she uh, rolls her eyes, and she knows, she can tell from the smell, her mummy is coming with the medicine. And she's very good, and flaps her ears, and then yeah, you she know, does, and she flaps her head again, she gets the other ear done. You know, it's funny how odor works. You can open a a lid on something and uh, in, in one room and in, and in no time at all you can smell it in the other room. Oh, and, yeah. You know it's funny how the odors <coughs> spread out. She stopped on Arlie's lawn and sat like a statue looking at the window and I'm sure Arlie was inside his window talking to her and <laughs> she heard him and or saw him and he, He's probably in his jammers or something. It wasn't coming out. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I had to pull her away. I said, he's not coming out. He's just, oh, he might. He might. <laughs> he might. Just, I'm, I'm giving him the pleading look. You just have to give it time to work. House? Mommy? Treats? Yes. As you, you push it open, as soon as it clicks, don't push it any further. Okay. It's a nice day. You feel it's cool back there, do you miss? Thanks, Uncle Rod. I'll see ya. See ya. Missy the dog. Missy the dog. Okay. Now, we've done this before. I'm sure I can do it again. we got to get this wire soldered onto these little terminals. And, uh, yeah, I'm trying to remember exactly how I did it before because I remember concluding that uh, it was working out pretty good. And what we want to do is continue to test each one of these and make sure that they work before I solder them up, after I solder them up, and then after I get them glued in place in the uh, overhead bulkhead here. Because I don't want to find out after I get the model all assembled that one of them is burned out and it happens to be the one that is going to be the hardest to replace. I mean, you know, I, I think at that, at that point I probably wouldn't even bother. Now, one of these was the one that we had hooked up before and it was working, but I kind of got them mixed up when I was messing around here, so we'll just check them all. Okay, now... Uh... Very seldom. In fact, I can't remember ever having one that didn't work when I tested it like this. But I have had them where they don't work uh, after I have soldered. If if I allow the heat to travel up into the uh, plastic or acrylic, whatever it is, I don't, I don't think that's glass. It's uh, it's some sort of acrylic, and it will melt. So, um, I have found that if I 
hang on to one of these ends with a with an alligator clip and then do my soldering uh, and do it quickly uh, the alligator clip will sort of act as a bit of a heat sink now of course you, you don't want it to 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 be too much of a heat sink or the or the uh, solder is not going to melt but uh, anyway it, most of the time it works but anyway after I get them all soldered up I check them again uh, yeah you can never check these things enough because they're, they're they can be they're they're very very hard uh, you know they're hard to damage and yet they're easy to damage heat will damage them so okay uh, let's uh, continue on here and uh, get our wire fed through our little homemade uh, wire wrapping device that I made up here out of a out of a, a needle this was a, a needle that was part of a, a for, for gluing the idea was you're supposed to be able to force glue out the end of it and uh, that's what that's what this was uh, okay enough uh, reminiscing here and getting my thoughts all jumbled up now this may not be exactly the way I did it before but this is the way I'm going to try it this time Maybe what I should do is measure out a length here and uh, and nip it off. Okay. Now we'll use the tweezer here as a, as a heat sink up close to the LED, and uh, this oh this looks like it's going to want to come off of there. I don't have a very good grasp on that. Okay, I'm <laughs> yeah I sure didn't. Okay, I'm just going to have to recompose here. Okay, let's try this again. It doesn't have to be too many wraps around it. It's not like I'm wiring a, a miniature electric motor or something. Okay, now the there's something else that I can poke with here. Maybe just move this up just a little bit. I think that on the the other ones that I did, I may have had the uh, I may have had the uh, had these these uh, pieces here too short. They, they didn't need to be that short. Oh, let me see. The dog just came in. Well, look who's here. I'm in, I'm over here, Missy. Hey, hi, Missy. Where are you, Missy? Come. Yeah, Missy the dog comes by three times a day. It's the early morning one, which is the main one. That's the one you get to see. This is just uh, solder, solder paste, and then there's, uh, then she comes by again about, oh, 
anywhere from 12.30 to 1.30. And next time she comes by is uh, anywhere between 5 and 6. Okay, now let's, let's try not to, to melt our plastic here. Now that, that should uh, make connection. The, uh, I didn't scrape the varnish off of that. But uh, let me check the monitor. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure we got it. I don't need to do it again. And I don't think we heard the LED. Okay, now the the other the other connection is just in behind here. It's it's kind of hard for you to see because of the angle. I'll do I'll do one more, and then the rest of these I'll do off camera. Actually, I'm I should really be calling it quits here. It's. Uh, it's three minutes after one already in the afternoon right now. So I, I think maybe that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to call her quits here. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching everybody. All being well. <laughs> we'll be seeing you tomorrow.